wanted to try and duplicate this Lisa Rena haircut. It's very popular, asked for a lot. So I formulated her haircut using Head Shape Matters cutting system. Right behind me on the board, you see where it says side and below that is numbers. So her level one, I cut it 60 degrees from Head Shape. Her level two, 75. Level three, 120. And now this is level four. I'll be cutting at 135 degrees from head shape. Then I'll take that bottom length and that becomes my guide of where I'm going to cut my perimeter length. Now I'm going to take that whole section, pull it up with my thinning shears, remove all the weight. Now I'm in the back section and I cut it 60, then 75, and now 105. And as I work down the head shape, you can see on her formula, um, all the way down, the rest of the way, I'll be cutting at 105 degrees. And you know, it's, it's so much fun to be able to formulate a haircut and know exactly how you're gonna cut it before you ever start. Um, and know exactly what shape you're going to get. So once I'm done with that, I'm cutting my perimeter length in the back. I'm going to move to her front and line up the guide with the side and cut everything at 90 degrees from head shape. Now this uh, mannequin has a mean cowlick in the front, so I had to leave uh, her fringe area a little bit longer than uh, Lisa Renna's. So then I'm able to just go through and finger dry this, just to give her volume on the top and a little flip out on the side. And I'm going to continue that with my flat iron. And here is the finished result. So I was able to look at a picture, break it down, cut it once, and achieve the shape. And we can do this with any haircut that we see. Um, this is by a student in the Head Shape Matters online class, this one as well. And you can just look at a photo, formulate it, and create the shapes that you want. We will be teaching this system in a seven week online training course starting January 28th. Please visit headshapematters.com.